our firm has had a significant impact on the city. Buse Morse Smith & McGee traces its roots back actually to 1827. Um, the modern version of the firm got started in 1970 when the firms of Buse Buse, Smith & Smith, and Moore, Muzon & McGee merged and opened offices right here at 5 Exchange Street. We have a couple buildings here that have been built at different times. Uh, we're sitting now in the building that existed in 1970 that the new partners uh, renovated to form Buse Moore, Smith & McGee. Hurricane Hugo hit Charleston in 1989 and the roof of Five Exchange here, the old building, was literally torn off and sitting in Exchange Street and many of the papers and files we had were, were in ruins. The building that had been newly constructed had one broken window in it, otherwise was unscathed. So at that point in time, the lawyers all picked up and moved over into that building until the building on the Exchange Street side could get repaired. And since that time, the firm has grown a great deal. We have expanded our own small footprint uh, from one building into basically three buildings, which are all uh, connected and, and form our offices here. Our lawyers continue to be involved in civic and community activities the way they have been throughout the history. We have four former Charleston City Councilmen here and countless attorneys here are involved in various charitable, civic, and educational outreaches and organizations. And so I think we have had a large impact on the city and the city's obviously molded us but uh, we're very fortunate to be an attractive place where people want to move and so we've attracted a lot of good lawyers who weren't originally from this area. The Womble Carlisle Charleston office was created by the merger of Busemore, Smith & McGee with Womble Carlisle and I believe that Charleston is a great location uh, for Womble to have an office and what differentiates it now is the Charleston economy is getting set to take off in a way that I don't think we've experienced before. Charleston, when I was growing up, was a pretty sleepy little town. We got a dynamic mayor in 1975 who laid the groundwork for the economic engine to take off. Tourism especially grew exponentially and for the last 40 years or so we have had a growth in the economic engine, but that was just a primer because now with Boeing having moved in uh, near our airport and the Panama Canal being expanded and Charleston being pretty much the best natural harbor on the East Coast to handle the post Panamax ships, I believe that we're getting set to grow in ways that we haven't seen before. So I think this is a great and exciting time to be a lawyer in Charleston. I think that the Charleston office can help clients of lawyers and other Womble offices, especially in the Admiralty and Maritime practice, in the construction practice area, as well as all of our practice groups. But those are two new things we bring to the firm. I believe that more and more regional and national companies will be relocating in Charleston or at least moving parts of their operation here as our economy continues to boom. I think people like Charleston mostly for the history and architecture. It, it, living here really takes you back in time and lends a certain gentility to just everyday life. In addition, we've got fantastic weather, though it does get a little sticky hot in the summer. Most of the year is just beautiful here. And thirdly, I think it's our great natural surroundings. Uh, Charleston is on a peninsula. We've got marshes to the south of us. We've got the Ace Basin, which is a large wilderness area. To the north of us, we've got Cape Romaine National Wildlife Refuge and Bulls Bay. So we've got buffers uh, that keep too much development from occurring and crowding us out. Charleston, being the historical city it is, has numerous historic landmarks. Probably one of the most famous is what we call the Four Corners of Law. And it's called the Four Corners of Law because on the corners of that block are all four laws are represented. You have St. Michael's Church, you have City Hall, which is the city government. Across Meeting Street from that is the county courthouse. And on the fourth corner is the federal post office and federal courthouse 
where many famous trials have been held. So you have federal, state, city, and God's law all represented right across the street from each other. It's pretty amazing. Some of the other historic locations in town include Patriots Point, Fort Moultrie, the Market, and Rainbow Row. We've pretty much got any kind of history that suits you. Our office here at Five Exchange Street, of course, we're right down from the Exchange Building. That's how the street got its name. That was, I believe, one of the earliest buildings built by the British government here. It has got a dungeon in it where people were held prisoner, including many pirates. We're also three blocks away from White Point Gardens, commonly known as the Battery around here. It now has a, a promenade and seawall that did not exist there at the time that Fort Sumter was fired on from the Battery. But we have a park there that still has some of the cannons that were used to fire. Our office is located literally a half a block from the waterfront park in the harbor of Charleston. You can step on our door and see the beautiful waterfront park which was finished after Hugo and look right out into the harbor. It's, it's a fantastic location. Also from the third story of our building, you can look out over the harbor and see Fort Sumter if you're interested in Civil War history. We've got Patriots Point if you're interested in military history. You've got Fort Moultrie if you're interested in Revolutionary War history, so there's just so much to do in Charleston. We've got a symphony orchestra, we've got probably four to five theater groups that put on plays, and we've got the beaches and, and the waterways to boat on. To sum things up, what I like most about the Charleston office is the people here. We're a great unified bunch and we're so excited to be a part of the Womble Carlisle firm now that can offer our clients just a new breadth of experience and depth of knowledge and practice areas that we didn't have lawyers in before. And in addition, we can help Womble lawyers whose clients move to Charleston or shift part of their operations to Charleston.